I apologize for that. I have a terrible hold on time. As long as I didn't become an ace prisoner, things will hopefully turn out for the better. So much, Phoenix Wright! A wise idea, Narumi-chan. How about you start by giving us your name? Tushiken. Tushiken Takahiro. So, what were you doing in the forest when these two were chasing the thieves? <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure myself. One moment I was praying at a shrine hidden inside the forest. Next thing I knew, some weird girl was talking to me. A girl. Yes, a girl with horns and a tail. I know it sounds weird, but I could have sworn I saw her before. I... I must have fainted. After that, I woke up somewhere in the forest. Hmm, Tsukino Dono Narumi-chan. Do you recall the stories behind the shrine near our village? Forgive me, forgive me, Elder Sama, I do not recall. I know it's a place of high spiritual energy and a sacred place, but I can't remember the details. Sorry, Grandpa! The shrine belongs to Suyuri, a powerful spirit that has been watching over our village for as long as anyone can remember. Unlike the fox spirits, we tend to avoid going too deep into the forest. I still think I could get... I still think I could get rid of those pests once and for all if you'd just let me go in and find your home. It's probably hidden in some damp cave, or on the hill, or some run-down old house. Humans and spirits rarely mingle, even if they meet with good intentions. The fact that this lad says he saw a spirit means there is a chance he was there for a reason. Not to mention, did you take a good look at him yet? He seems disoriented and his clothes look foreign. He didn't seem to be talking gibberish earlier. He claimed to be from a city near here, but there's nothing wild like that around here for miles! Miles, Jones! He was also talking about something called a new thing, a new bear. I want to use some fighting techniques that I've never seen before. He's still a pervert. I'm not a pervert. It's perfectly natural for a guy my age to be curious about certain things. Besides, if you're talking about how the panties ended up on my face, I had nothing to do with that Cinderella tyrant. Would you just call me? I'm to smash you to pieces, you brat. Wait, wait. What do you think about it? Those foxes did look like they were just abandoning them, but Grandfather, what does all of this mean? I can't be certain. However, I believe it is unlikely that he's working together with the fox spirits. Uh. Damn it. I was gonna be honest here. Um. I love how the, the one in white is complaining about oh, so, such lewdness, and then, like, they're wearing basically not much at all. I mean, especially, like, the, the one with the pink hair. It, she, she has wrappings around her breasts, and I mean, she's kind of wearing a shirt. I guess, if that can even be called one. Still, I have never heard of any human to come upon a spirit such as Sir Yuri. I dare say he might not even be of this world. What a use. What? Wait, are you trying to say that I'm in a different world now? Or oh, angst! That would be the most logical explanation. I am the badass old man. In what world would that be considered logical? But I have an important tournament to participate in, two weeks from now. Well, no one has ever experienced something like this before. We will have to think of how to deal with you, or if it is even possible to get you back to your own world. Oh. In the meantime, a night in, s in the cell wouldn't hurt. He did assault a village guard and he resisted. Sorry. <laughs> he, 
In the meantime, a man in the soul got hurt. He did assault a village guard, and he resisted arrest. He could stay here until he rots, for all I care, but I suspect the Elder will wish to have a talk with you soon. Hikagi, I am going to clean myself off. I suggest you do the same. I wouldn't take offense for implying that I stink, but there was one hell of a run. Those fox bears run fast. I would still like to know more about those techniques, Takahira-san. If you would do, if you do happen to stick around, I might want to go a few rounds with you. <laughs> she totally wants your balls, man. <coughs> it's not like I'll be going anywhere for the time being. It is only for a few hours while we discuss what to do with you. A person such as yourself would end up causing quite a commotion amongst the villagers, so it is necessary to convince them that you mean them no harm before we release you. And that's how I found myself stuck in a jail cell, while the people responsible for my situations left to deal with their personal errands. This sucks! As if I'm being sent to a different world wasn't bad enough, I'm stuck in a jail! My only company being... A pair of beautiful, magnificent, majestic fox sisters. You lucky boy. A pair of beautiful... Wait a second! Hi! Yahoo! Hi there, panty boy! A familiar face appeared at the top of my cell. A blonde girl with golden eyes. As I watched, she flipped over and landed in front of the cell, waving her hands at me. From, from the side of the cell, another girl appeared with a wry grin on her face. Ugh! It's the panty thieves! If you're here to reclaim your hostages, they're already back where they belong! Please, no, don't kill me! <laughs> nope! We saw the guards go into bath and swiped the maiden silk again! Look! With that, she pulled out a pair of lacy silken underwear from her sleeve, and stretched it out with her thumbs, showing off, showing off her panty bras to me. Wait. You came. <clears throat> you came. All the way back here to snatch their underwear again. I'm not sure... The Sundere Tyrant fits that label. Cutie with the katana? You'd be surprised. I happen to believe that she's as innocent as one can be. She seems far too uptight to let any man touch her. As for the returning to the village, we have the debt to settle. I smiled weakly as I wondered what the fox meant by debt. Eek, no, don't kill me. I'm not sure what this debt of yours might be, but I think you better leave before those two return. You don't seem to be on friendly terms with the samurai gals. Wait, if he doesn't know about it, we can just leave. We can just leave, Onesama. Hey, Carl. That's not how we do things, young man. <clears throat> young man, your actions allowed us to escape our earlier predicament without harm. This places us in your debt, for which we are now repaying you. Michael, do the magic. <laughs> the magic. <laughs> okay. The younger girl walked forward and placed her hands upon the lock of the door of the cell. She began mumbling something that I couldn't even begin to understand, and her hands began glowing brightly as they stroked the shaft. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Different worlds, golds, wielding weapons, and now foxes using magic. Next on the list, I'm going to find a talkative magical sword and end up being destined to save the world. Just watch, just watch him be right. Just watch. Like he's gonna find a magic katana and he has to save the world. And you're like, Kamehameha, Sabal, no, no. Well, we will catch this next time. Bye. I'll still